Today we've heard about videos that are six seconds long as way to tell a story. Uh, we've heard about new newsletters that become home pages uh, for readers. So the, the world is just undergoing an amazing transformation and I believe that the publishing industry five years from now will be nothing like we know it today. We're seeing more and more of the new media companies, so BuzzFeed, Vice, Quartz, uh, uh, coming out and kind of working with brands to create stuff in-house that's so good that, that the audience really enjoys it and, and shares it. Today, EMAP has got about 17 different ways that we deliver content, um, and 17 years ago, it was probably one way to deliver it. Now the big challenge is how do we get that content into people's pockets, so they're carrying it around with them, and obviously we're on the device that is uh, preeminent and that everybody is obsessed with at this time. I think there is not one key, but stick to your content. First of all is the transformation of publishers from being a brand-based and a product-based uh, institution to being an audience-based institution. And this year for the first time we found proven areas of success across six themes that are clearly identifiable as key innovations in the industry. Mobile, video, programmatic advertising, native advertising, e-commerce and events, and big data slash smart data. People are consuming video in new pockets of their day. Everybody always says, how much TV can someone watch? But really what we're doing as content publishers is reaching those people where their need is, when their need is, during new pockets of their day. Future growth in media is all about happy customers. We talk about customer joy at EMAP. And you want customer joy because you get amazing characteristics in your own business if you've got happy customers. The winners will be those that harness everything across all the different formats. So are looking at their tablet, are looking at mobile, are looking at online and desktop content, as well as the printed format. And, all, and indeed all the social channels and finding a way to maximize each of those channels with, with different types of content that moves the consumer between them. Publishers should really be focused on what they what they write, what they produce, and what the user's preference are. And then, if users want short content, they should deliver that. If they want long content, they should deliver that. Or they should deliver a mix of different content based on different times of the day or different uh, consumption uh, occasions. Yeah, just just improve your products and your offers, uh, and get to know your audience. You have to engage the customer on several different points, in several different devices, in several different moments of his life. And so to do this, you must make sure that you have both as a set of production values and as a set of user experience values, a consistency that breeds the relevance of relationship and the depth of interactions that we need. Companies have got to be readable on a mobile because pretty soon 75-80% of the content consumption of their product will be on mobile. It's the ability to tell a story. It's the ability to engage that audience on the issues that are most important to them. Those are the publishers that are going to win. The key to unlocking real growth in media today is social, thinking about how you can get people to share content, thinking how you can optimize content for different platforms. Uh, and I think if you can do that, uh, the sky is the limit. Again, driving principle should be the reader first.